Welcome back to another fun Friday and another episode of If It Floats, I Boats, and I'll tell you what, my man is boating. These images were sent in by Jack Long from Sailing Lady A, and this is located in Bimini, Bahamas. And my man's got something going on here for sure. It looks like they've made a hybrid pontoon using maybe pallets or just wood and some furniture and what was left of somebody's tiki hut. But we don't forget the anchor. We, we're definitely over anchored on the front of this thing. He's ready to go hang out at the sandbar just about anywhere. But this thing is absolutely wild looking. They actually caught him later in the week driving this thing around. That is that awesome. Is so cute. And if my it. friend's wife finds out I got her couch, she's gonna have a stroke. <laughs> that is the best couch you've ever seen. Oh, that's yeah. funny. But let's take a deeper dive into this thing and see if we can kind of dissect it by its parts. We'll start off at the stern where obviously we're powering it with a Merc. And we've got our gas tank right there and the extended tiller handle for your comfort. That's right, this guy's all about comfort here. I mean, why else would you have a lazy boy sitting right next to the extended tiller handle? And then we'll move over to the gorgeous couch that he was talking about. And here you can see there's two buckets in front of it. And I'm assuming on this vessel, those are multi-use. They can be used to uh, mount a tabletop. They probably could be used as footstools. And then of course they can be used with the open side up as the boat's head compartment. And then of course we've got the anchor and man, <laughs> that is the biggest anchor I've ever seen on a pontoon boat. My man can anchor up at any reef he wants down there in the Bahamas and is not gonna have any issues whatsoever and then of course we've got this exquisite custom bimini top they have on this thing it appears it's made out of four by fours and what's left over are some palm trees hopefully i don't get this guy in trouble and his buddy's wife doesn't watch this channel and she never finds out that he's taking her couch but i'll tell you what pontoons are one of the most interesting things out there when it comes to it floats i boats we find lots of people take the remnants of these things and convert them into just about anything like this right here appeared to be some kind of floating sandbar island that was being used somewhere in Biscayne Bay. We caught this one down at 79th Street from our Miami Boat Ramps channel, and this one seen better days, but that's part of the problem when some people start getting involved with re-rigging these pontoons and turning them into different things. Over the next few weeks, I'll feature a few more pontoons that we'll see out there because I've seen some wild ones and some really wild things that have gone on with them. And some of them have had horrific results, kind of like we're seeing here, and some of them wind up kind of epic. So we'll feature a little bit of both. But here, this one was just a wild one. I remember the day we saw this come through. I mean, it looks like it was just basically like a floating party barge that was probably used at one of the sandbars around Miami. And these guys, unfortunately, it looks like they used it a little too rough and probably had a little bit too good of a time on it. Yes, I know that's tough to say about anything in Miami, the city of fun, but this is the end result of all their hard work in the end. I mean, this one's a little bit more of a primitive design when you're trying to redo a pontoon, but even the first one we showed was just very basic. Some people will take this when they're redoing the pontoon and actually step up the game and take it to a whole new level. Kind of like the next one we're gonna look at, where this crew looks like they went ahead and rebuilt a pontoon, but they took their sweet time and probably did it the right way, even though it's still a unique concept. I mean, they basically, it looks like they put everything back together with wood, went and bought some privacy fence or some kind of PVC fencing, and that's what they decided they were gonna use for their pontoon. And then just put up probably whatever generic bimini top they could find. Well, put two of them up, but I can't say much for the design or anything. It actually doesn't look terrible. I mean, you could tell that it's a custom pontoon, but I mean, as far as seaworthiness, I mean, they're obviously towing this broke down vessel in with their rebuilt pontoon. So, I mean, you see a lot of these things that actually wind up being decent in function design. And especially when we talk about looking for cheap, inexpensive ways to get on the water, you can find some busted up pontoons pretty reasonably priced. And probably if you've got any kind of mechanical skill, get yourself back out on the water significantly less than you can trying to buy anything in the true used boat market or even in the new boat market right now. But once again, just another unique design. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of If It Floats, I Boats. If you ever see any crazy boats out on your waterway, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram or email me at broncosguru1 at gmail.com. Grab some video footage of it. Find out as much information as you can about the vessel, and the vessels you send me may be featured over here. And don't forget to drop an anchor on the subscribe button while you're here. If not, we're going to come steal your drain plug.